everybody, Derek Hayworth, Popaville O'Gage Trains, and I got myself a mega haul. Lots of cool stuff. We're going to go through it, not individually. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bore you with every single item, but we're going to show you what I picked up and uh, take it from there. So come on along. Let's see what we got this time. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, once again, as I said in the introduction, it's Derek with Popaville O'Gage Trains. And I got myself a mega haul. This is the biggest single purchase, um, not most expensive, but the largest single purchase that I've ever made um, in uh, my short term of starting to collecting. So we're gonna go through it real quick. Um, uh, this was, I purchased this off a guy, got it through Marketplace. And it was somebody, the way the ad was listed is, I'm getting out of selling on eBay. And he had everything in these individual boxes. And the way it was set up was he had, the way the ad listed, it said 40 boxes, five bucks a box. But each one of these boxes only had like one or two cars in it. So uh, got a hold of them. We went back and forth and negotiated the deal. And here I am. Now I've kind of condensed it a little bit and actually went through and divided stuff off. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier to go through it all. Um, so let's take a look. Um, so we had one engine. <laughs> I have one engine. It's a Far Marks, uh, not Farks, a Marks 490. Um, it rolls okay. I haven't tested it, but I got a feeling, you know, you guys know with these Marks stuff, they, they've run. There are no, um, no cracks in the frame. Uh, it doesn't have a light. Uh, but other than that, it's in pretty decent condition. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with it maybe just use the engine and something else. I got a little project that I'm working on that I I uh, might make a little piece of lint in there that I might use it for. So uh, we'll see. Got some American Flyer S-Gage track and it turns out it's just enough. A couple of straights and enough to make an oval with a couple of straights on it. That's kind of cool. I got a nice old American Flyer Transformer. It's in really nice shape. This is a, uh, it's a 75 watt transformer. A number two transformer, American Flyer, made by the AC Gilbert of New Haven, Connecticut. Um, it looks like it's in decent shape. Doesn't have a, uh, a circuit breaker on it, so I'm not sure if, uh, what year this was made. Maybe you got one of you guys can help me. Um, I will probably, in the meantime, look it up. Um, yeah, it looks like it's in nice shape. The only thing that's missing is one of the caps to one of the screws on the back here. You can see it's missing that middle cap. I got a bunch of those in one of my junk boxes, so uh, we'll be testing that later to see how it works. Um, seeing that we're looking at the American Flyer, so let's real quickly. Um, this was the American Flyer O-Gage items that were in here. I got two, um, two basically identical, basically identical, um, tenders here. Uh, the number on the bottom of this one is smudged off, but these have electrical going to them. This particular one does say or what's left of American Flyer on the side. It's got the ladder and you got the electrical, huh? This wire is disconnected. But on this one, it does have the, it's a 564C on the bottom, 564C. Um, I've recently gotten into some of the American Flyer, but everything I have is pre-war. I got a feeling with these connectors, these couplers, um, they're not as old as the ones that I have. Maybe you guys can give me a hand. Let me know what I got, got here. Um, they're basically both the same. And then, what's that for? Tell me. I mean, I've got a feeling maybe something off the engine plugs in there. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Tell me what I got here. Um, I got another tender. Now, this is definitely an older tender. Uh, it doesn't have the number on it, but, you know, I mean, this is actually, it's got that same coupler on it but this is just a pin plate i mean these guys these guys got some weight to them 
And that this one, I mean, there's nothing on the inside. I wonder if maybe if there's the, uh, it's got a whistling unit in there or something. We'll find out later. Um, but yeah, this one also is in nice condition. It's got your hand, the, the little bars on the side. Um, yeah, it's in, it's in decent condition, as you can see. I don't know what we'll do with it. Maybe I'll end up uh, switching this coupler out and using it with one of my, my older ones because I do have one train that I use in, uh, right now. It's got an American, or American, uh, Lionel um, tender on it. So maybe I'll convert that over so I can use it with that. And then I got a couple of, uh, the 478 boxcar and a 486. This is a uh, coal car, and it's kind of cool because it's got the little, it's got the little crank on the bottom that opens and closes. So this is an, a, a uh, this is an operating, uh, an operating type coal car to where it will dump out of the back when you turn this. It, it when you turn this, it opens and closes that. Um, you know, it's missing a little paint on the inside, but hey, that's okay. I mean, this thing's pretty nice. I actually kind of like it. Um, so we got those. So that's the O gauge American Flyer stuff. Let's set this off to the side. Next thing we'll go through, which I'm gonna just get some of this other stuff out of the way here because we got a lot of stuff. Because this next batch of stuff, I just kind of piled it up. I just piled it up and uh. I just kind of piled it up and I really, all I did was I said, oh, this is all S gauge. So I haven't looked at it that close, so let's look at it together. Um, now this is kind of cool. I'm gonna show you this one and um, you'll see why in a little while. Um, this is a uh, nice box car. I like it. It's got DF on there. That happened to be my initials. That's kind of cool. Um, I mean, I like the detail. I mean, it even has the latches on the door. That's kind of cool. And it's a and that latch actually does it work? No. I think there's a little piece that may be broken off there because I can see clean plastic. But I mean, either way. I mean, I like the, I really like, as I was, I, I always do stuff out of picture. There might be a little piece right there that's broken off where that latch clips, clips on to hold it in place. Um, yeah, because it's, it's, well, maybe, maybe it's just designed that way. Um, on the other side, it's got the same, the same setup. But I really like the detail that is on this boxcar. It's in good condition. Uh, what do we got? Uh, it basically just says on the bottom, an American Flyer manufactured by A.C. Gilbert, New Haven, Connecticut. So that's S gauge, which I don't have any S gauge, but now I got that oval. I got a transformer, um, and I'm actually <laughs> going back to this guy next Sunday, um, and I'm picking up some additional stuff that he's holding for me because I didn't have enough of the green stuff on me and he didn't take like Zell or any of the cash app type stuff. Um, so he said, yeah, I'll hang on to it. <clears throat> um, I'm picking up an engine, a tender, a diesel locomotive that are, that are S gauge and um, uh, rain fart. Oh, and some Mark's Santa Fe passenger cars. And then uh, another little surprise that he's actually throwing in for free, which I'll show you in my video when I get that stuff. All right, so we got this cool little box car. Here's another box car that we have. This is a Baltimore in Ohio. It's a number 633. Here again, it's got the cool latches on it. And these latches actually work. That little piece isn't broken off, but this, this one is definitely, at least the, the body is a lot dirtier. But I kind of like it. It almost has that weathered look to it. Look at that, guys. All right, cool. Um, another box car. Uh, this one also has the, maybe all the, the, the these have the latches on them. But this one's kind of cool. Um, this is another This is a another 633, Baltimore and, o, Baltimore and Ohio, but a different color scheme. This has got this 
white residue on a lot of the wheels and stuff. Uh, what other box cars we got here? That's a hot, here's a hopper and a, a uh, uh, it says for bulk cement only. This is from the, uh, the Jersey Central Lines. It's a 924. Nice little hopper there. Um, ah, and we got a second hopper. That's cool. Um, a nice Mer uh, Missouri Civic. I'm, I believe this is a cattle car. There again, it's got the it's got those cool latches going there. Wonder if that's something they did with all of them. Um, there we go, the Chief. Famous Daily Stream Streamliner West. It's an ATSF, the number 803. This one does this one has fixed doors on it. Um, but it does have the little latches, but the doors on this one don't open. Everywhere west, but this is a Burlington CBNO 24206. Um, and this one's in there again. Look, I keep on, I'm sorry about this, guys. I keep on forgetting my camera's up here. So this one's kind of, that's a good looker. Got the coal load in there. Uh, here we got a gondola. This is a P Pennsylvania Railroad gondola. That's nice. I got one. Okay, maybe you guys can help me out with what I have here. Um, these are Monon, M, M O N, Monon, Monon, Monon. How do we say that, guys? Um, each one's, I, I'm most positive these are um, piggyback. You know, if I've got uh, semi trailers that go on there. Probably the same with that, just because of the way those latches are. But each one is a little bit different. Um, maybe you guys can tell me what we're looking at here. And I'm guessing this is a 634 uh, Chicago Northwestern. Right? Would that be CNMWRY? I'm assuming Chicago Northwestern. I'm guessing this was a light, a light car because that's broken off. And, uh, but, you know, I've been wrong before. Still has the brake. It's a little bent. We'll get that, that brake straightened out. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's that. Um, we got two of these flat cars. Uh, this one's got a bunch of glue residue on it. Um, and there's a pin that comes out of it here. I think they both have a pin. Um, the kind of the different paint on it. This is a uh, FYN PRR. Um, not sure what the FY. I'm thinking maybe Pennsylvania Railroad. You guys tell me. And like I say, I don't know the S gauge stuff very well. Um, but two of those. And we got a couple of uh, couple of more hoppers. This one is a boy. That's a uh, Lehigh, a number 632. And then we got the American Flyer 640. That's an easy one to tell, right? Um, we got one more. Now, this guy's heavy. This is all metal. American Flyer, this is one of the circus cars. Um, this is one of my uh, things that I wouldn't mind being able to put together this whole circus train. <laughs> but that's the worst way to start, right? <laughs> is just with this guy. But uh, it's nice. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I'm on some of the stuff. If one of you guys out there are looking for one of these, hit me up. Let me know. We can work out a deal. And then we got two matching cabooses. These are are lighted cabooses. Both of them. They're the uh, the reading or reading, depending on how you say it. Um, 630s. They're in nice condition. There's a a little bit of a, well, no, no, we're not really a color. I'm just trying to, okay, here's one of the differences. The back end on this one's got kind of a brass look to it, or the back on the one on that one. I'm doing it again. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you can really see that, but the this one's got more of a little bit of a brass look. It's really worn. Um, you can see a little bit better there, and this is more of a gray, or that's got that brass look to it. So that's the difference on these two. And uh, that's it for this S-gauge stuff. Let me clear this all out of here and I'll be right back.
Oh, I missed a couple items. So here's another Pennsylvania gondola. Here is a uh, Chesapeake and Ohio gondola. There is a Norfolk and Western gondola. And finally, I like this one a lot. This is a nice shell tanker, the single dome tanker. Um, it's got this, here again, it's got this white residue on the top, but look at, that's pretty. I like it a lot. Yeah, there's, here on the end, it's got this, it's, yeah, it's cleaning up just by rubbing my finger on it. Um, but yeah, the, but it's, it's even on the, like, let me look at the wheels, all that white residue, it almost feels soapy. Okay, all right, so that's it for all the S gauge. Let me get this cleaned up now and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the, there's not a lot, but we're gonna look at some of the Lionel that we got. Um, like I say, not too much here and most of it's kind of rough. I got, uh, got one, two, three, four, and three quarters of a, uh, I, Actually, I don't think this is a Lionel. This is, says, uh, 1969 Lakes and Pine, 1984, 15th anniversary. Uh, I don't see, I don't see any type of a maker mark on it. I don't see Lionel anywhere. It's missing the top of the, um, anybody know what it is? Let me know, guys. Don't have a clue. Don't have a clue. It has uh, just uh, fixed couplers on it. I do have some other stuff with fixed couplers that is marks. Maybe it's marks. Who knows? Got a uh, a B and O. Nice chessy popper. And we got uh, four other. Let's see. I got a. A 6017 uh, seems to be all intact. This one only has the uh, the one side coupler, no coupler on the rear. We got a uh, uh, an ATSF. This is a Santa Fe uh, 90061. So nice. It's a, it's an old cheapo here again. Uh, only the coupler on the one side. But, oh, and it's got a little chip up in the corner. Just notice that. Uh, we got a, uh, a 6047. This one's got a little bit more weight to it. Um, by the chassis at one time, maybe this chassis was used for something else that had a light in it. This one doesn't. Um, again, it's just uh, only a coupler on one end. And no chips or cracks. I don't know, maybe something's missing that goes there. Ladder possibly. Uh, it doesn't look like on this one, but maybe they use the same shell for. And then uh, a 6357. This is a lighted, as you can see. It's got the pickup on it. It's got the wiring to it. I don't know whether or not it works. It's got the nice metal railings on the back. This one's in. Uh... Oh, I just noticed one flaw right there. It's been. I wonder what happened there. It almost looks like it was melted. Maybe it had bad wire in there at some time or another, who knows. But uh, other than that, it's in fair shape. And the second tray, here we go. We got some stuff, we got a Allen W9302. This was a searchlight car. Um, you know, as you can see, it's missing the light. Uh, aside from that, not bad. This is a nice cheap Southern Pacific gondola. I got a flat car, a DTNI. Nothing special about that. And we got a nice heavy 6561. Maybe you guys could tell me what was on here, but this guy's got some weight to it. It's 
kind of cool because whatever the load was, I went in those two holes and it's missing. Um, but what I do like is that it has the both brakes on both ends. Uh, the underside is in nice shape. Um, yes, all metal, all die cast. That's nice. And then we got another gondola, a 6142. Oh, and then I forgot about this tender. I'm um, not sure the number on this tender. The big one. And it is a, uh, you got the coupler on the one side and then the, the what do they call those? The, the, the drop-in tab doohickey. Um, yeah, so there you go, nice tender. Um, hole in the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure what that went to because it's uh, a little bigger. So that's it for the Lionel stuff. Put this off to the side. I'm running out of places to put this stuff. Workbench is getting awful covered up. All right, everything else here, it's all marks. Lots and lots of marks. Um, got some questions on a couple of these. Okay, first one I'm going to show you is, remember I had mentioned the uh, that S-Gage uh, American Flyer box car that I really liked a lot because it had my initials on it. Well, here is the same one and I'm, it doesn't say marks on it, but because of that coupler, I'm, and these are the metal ones, not the plastic. I'm assuming that this is, uh, because that I'm aware of, I mean, did, did American Flyer use these couples, couplers? I don't think so, but these are a little bit different than the marks ones. Um, because of the little tab that they have here on the bottom. Um, but it doesn't say, it doesn't say American Flyer anywhere on it. doesn't say Marks on it. doesn't say Lionel. So if one of you guys know what this particular one, but it's basically, you know, and I already put those away because I was going to, you know, what, I'm going to hit pause for a second and I'm going to grab that other one real fast. So I'm back. So as you can see, do the same. This one's plastic. This one's all metal, though. Um, but it is the the same box car. One of the differences is this is the, the, this is the American Flyer. Um, this ha it has that latch on there. This one has the, the uh, bow gauge has the sliding doors, but it doesn't have the latch. And then the other oh, the, the other thing that I want to point out is the coupler. So it's got. That mark style coupler on the one side. Oh, look at this. You spin it around, and you have a a fixed knuckle coupler right there. Same with the other side. Knuckle coupler on one side, and you can spin it around and have the other. So give me a little help, guys. Um, you know, I am asking a lot of help. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a marks, but uh, because of that coupler, or maybe this is made by like a third party company um that decided hey let's make stuff that's going to work on everybody's trains um i really like this one a lot it's in very nice condition there's i mean just a little roughness on the paint that'll clean up but i do like it a lot i mean i'm gonna go go on the old interweb and hit the do doobly dots and the dibbly d's and uh do some hunting around because like I say, we're, we're kind of going through these boxes the first time together. Um, but uh, yeah, I do like this one a lot. I don't know why I'm really, really attracted to this. So it's a, uh, a GAEX 1950. And uh, it's got the GA, the logo up there with the DF. Maybe you guys can tell me what did the DF stand for? Um, I know it's not Derek Fadden. It'd be nice if it was, but <laughs> so. Um, that back over here so the some of the other stuff all right i got a couple of these guys um here again dummy me um i mean i'm assuming these are, are, are log rollers but how does it stay down it's got the switch over there but that doesn't maybe something's missing on the bottom side here how does it stay down because i've got i've got two of them and i'll take that back i've got two and a half of them this is how I know they're, these are the plastic ones, not the metal ones, but it's got that that switch on the back, and then this also 
So I know, I know Pluckerville, you're a Marks guy. Tell me what I got here. And tell me how these actually work. So I got the, and these are the Erie. Well, I know they're all Erie. I just got the one, the one blue. And this one sits down a little bit more. Um, but this one is missing. This one on the bottom has a spring. Let's turn it around this way so you can see it better. It's got that. Can you see that spring in there? Right there? There. There's the spring. This one's missing the spring. But it is. Okay, now I'm starting to learn a little bit more just by looking at this particular one. On the underside. Okay. So... This has got this tab right here. This tab catches this wire. When it's down, it goes through the hole and it locks in. That keeps that down. This particular one is missing that tab. This one, obviously, is missing the whole top part. So that's on how it actually works. I don't know if this... This is bent a little bit too much or something. I'll research. We'll find out a little bit more about it. All right, so then we got a generator car. Uh, missing the light. And uh, it's got the pickup right there for it. And then here again, uh, you know, the reason I uh, say Marks is because as far as I know, Marks is the only one that used these plastic couplers. Got a B&O box car, and uh, I'm assuming this one had logs or something out on it. So this this box I call this the oddball box. Um, aside from this box car, but all those pieces are just kind of oddball pieces. Another little bit of oddball stuff. This is the real. The real cheap mark stuff. I mean, the real cheap stuff. You know, the hollow frames. This is a pacemaker. Um, we got a Southern Pacific. This one, uh, it's got the, the fixed knuckle couplers on it, as does this one. This one only has it on one side, but this is, like I say, this is the real El Cheapo. Um, got a Penn Central. I put these all together because they all have the fixed knucklers, but it's a Penn Central. Um, I'm assuming that's New York Central went with this, and maybe it went with that 490 engine. Um, here we go. Just another New York Central, just the El Cheapo, where it's got the, the fake dual wheels, but just the single on the bottom. And uh, same with this Erie flat car. And then we got a, um, this doesn't say marks on it anywhere, but I'm kind of assuming that it is. But it's just an El Cheapo. You know, a, you're going to pick those things up at your local flea market or train shows for... Oh, and I just know it's a Southern Pacific. It's got a big chip out of the corner. But you're going to pick these up literally for, you know, next to nothing. Or you might buy something and the guy will throw it in at no charge for you. I mean, uh, that's probably what I'll do if I sell them. Okay, it's caboose time. All right. There was a lot of cabooses that came with this. A lot of cabooses that came with this. A lot of cabooses that came with this. Did I mention there were a lot of cabooses that came with this? All right, we're just gonna zip through them really fast. All right, here's another one that, is, is this Monon? Monon? Okay. Um, I got a couple of, uh, I got a, an ATNSF. There's a pacemaker. I got some Southern Pacific Pacifics in here. There's a couple of them in red, and got one in brown. I got a, uh, a Rock Island Railway. I got two of the New York Central. I, I really like the colors on these guys. Um, I got a couple more. Uh, got a couple of All States, although this one's got a chip out of the corner. But a couple of the All States. All of these, by the way, have the. Um, I don't know what they call these connectors. The little because you got to twist them. I can't remember. 
A um, couple of Union Pacifics, but they they look the same, but they got a different paint, a little bit different. They're both 3900s, so but they get a little bit different paint scheme to them. Another ATS, a Santa Fe. We got, we got, we got, oh, this one got mixed in here. That's a Lionel. That's got to go in that other box with the rest of the Lionel stuff. How'd that get in there? Uh, all right, we got a GT. I got a, uh, a Rio Grande. Oh, another Lionel. I don't know how I got those mixed in right there. Not paying attention. Another Lionel. These are... Oh, I know how this happened. Yeah, these are all Lionels. What am I doing here? Yeah, this box was all the Lionel locomotives. So, we got um, a 2047, 2057, another 2057, a 6357. I'll go with that other one I showed you earlier. Another 6357, but that one's brown, that one's red. Um, another one, a 6257, that's a little bit lighter brown, the Rio Grande, and the other one that I showed you. So those are going to go over here with the rest of these line outs. All right, so this is the March stuff. We went through that first box, and then I showed you the Union Pacifics. Okay, so we're down to our final box, guys. This was all the old tin plate. Um, there's one hint in here in particular that... Um, I think it was probably other than that, uh, that green box car, the DF that I'm not hundred percent sure what it is. I got one in here that I, I, I think it was the gem of the, the bell of the ball, at least in my opinion. Um, first off we got the, the merchandise service of Pennsylvania. This is a nice one. I have a couple of these already. This one's in uh, medium shape, not great shape. Um, I do have the the older version of it too, which is kind of cool. I like that a lot. This has the uh, the fixed couplers on it, which in those older versions, that's the first one I've seen where it's got that. This is this has got the the tabs. This one, uh, if I remember right, it's a. Um, I remember the engine that goes with this. I'm actually looking at it down here. Um, got a couple of coal cars. There's a, uh, a general, general from Northern Pacific. Here's another Northern Pacific general. These are both 554s, but different color schemes. Um, this one's missing a whole bunch. This, I believe, was. It's a plastic wheel. This was probably uh, came with a wind up. It's a seaboard. I got a B and O, one of the, the longer gondolas. I got one. I got two, and I got three. These are the the twenty one oh twos. They're all in very nice condition. Back end of this one's got the, the railings are a little dented up, but that can be fixed. Um, I did notice there's maybe it's just fading. Yeah, no, they're all basically the same color. Um, of the three, I believe this one is in the best condition. Um, I like them, they're nice. Now, finally, this is the one that I think is pretty cool it's a Christmas Comets Flight Academy that sliding doors very very nice condition it's got the Chris you know this was off of a Christmas train um, season greetings Christmas 2000 it even has it's got a satellite on there it says it's really hard to read this if you guys want to zoom in on that right there because my eyes are too old. Radar and GPS tracking available on all flights. So, I mean, the thing that confuses me is that it says, 
This is cute. Lessons by appointment only. It's got Santa on a computer. But, I don't know. Was this repainted? Is this a repop? It's got the... Oh, I call them the, the, the post and grab. Um, it is missing the, the spring off the bottom. But this is an old... This is an old style trucks and, and, and chassis. Um, yeah, I don't know. Help me out, guys. But I think this is kind of kind of cool. I have not seen one of these before. I will go online, you know, on the old computer web and see what they can tell me. But it's cool. I like it a lot. I would love to, if this is part of a set, I would love to piece this together. If some of you guys out there have some extra stuff and you see something here that you want, send me a message. Let's make a trade, you know. Um, this is pretty cool, though. I like it a lot. All right, so that wraps up for this week. Um, you know, send me some messages. Tell me if you guys, you know, on some of the questions I have of what I have, because I'm still, you know, I've only really been into this for about three or four years. Well, beginning of the pandemic. So how far was that? 20, March of 2020. So yeah, for, for about four years. Um, yeah, so about three and a half years. That I've really heavily gotten into it's let's say three years um, so I don't know everything obviously I mean I don't think anybody knows everything uh, you never will learn it but um, I'm learning more and more uh, every day um, and thanks to you guys you're helping me out a lot with this stuff of um, telling me you know it's uh, it's it's really surprising when I bump into people at the shows there's some people that it's amazing at how much stuff they know um, I, they can just look at something and tell you exactly what it is immediately. But um, you got some guys, like there's one guy, I talked to him, and he could tell you anything you want to know about Marks, but show him a Lionel, a basic Lionel, a piece of rolling stock, and he doesn't, he can't tell you much. But he knows Marks inside out, upside down, backwards. There's a lot of guys that know S gauge, but they don't know when it comes to S gauge. Now, S gauge American Flyer. Uh, is American Flyer the only ones that did SGH? Here again, I don't know. Um, let me know. Um, I, from what I've seen, I think so. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, but, you know, some guys know the, the American Flyer SGH really well, but they really don't know anything about American Flyer O-Gage. There's other guys that's the other way around. They know a lot about the O-Gage and, and so on and so forth. So I'm just kind of rambling now. All right, guys, uh, as always, thank you very much for, for viewing. Um, you know, I, uh, I do this for the fun, but I, I, I enjoy, um, you know, sharing my information with you, uh, the little bit of knowledge that I have, what I enjoy more is just showing you, um, some of this cool old stuff. Um, I, uh, when I first, when I first started getting into this, I was like, you know, I'm going to get some of the really nice newer engines and, you know, I, I am so attracted to this old stuff. I just love it. Um, I can't get enough of it, as you can see. <laughs> um, I uh, the wife hasn't seen this stuff yet. She's gonna. I can hear her now. We need to put all this stuff. Da 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 da. Hey, I got. I'll hide it under the table if I have to. Um, but you know, uh, if you guys see something that I showed you that you need it for your collection, you really like it a lot. Send me a message. We can work something out. Um, if it's a real piece of junk, who knows? I might just say, hey, you pay for the shipping, and I'll send it to you. Um, but uh, So let's wrap this one up. Again, uh, as it says back here, you know, like, I, I say that in all my videos. You guys know what I want you to do. Um, as I come out with new stuff, hit that notification. Um, I've been kind of promoting this one a little bit. Another two weeks, so I'm going to be getting away for... Uh, um, from the train videos for a week and I'm gonna be posting going on the hot ride power tour with my son he actually uh, came by today with my son-in-law the two of them were going out to the Bolo Auto Museum but uh, I was in the backyard and I could hear him pull up uh, that rumble of my son's Corvette and my son-in-law's uh, he's got the 30th anniversary um, Z28 and uh, I, yeah, I could just when they pulled up, you could just hear boom, 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 and uh, yeah, they wanted me to go with them, but you know, 
the wife's like, nah, you, we got too, too much to do in the backyard today. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Chicago today. Uh, I think we hit like 74, 75 degrees, hardly a cloud in the sky. Just a beautiful day. Um, it's Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday. It's going to rain all day. So uh, you know where I'm going to be? I'm going to be down here. <laughs> all right, guys, take care of yourselves. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you next time. Choo-choo. Thank you for watching my Papa's videos.